I would like to present you my invention, a process of multiplication of the hydraulic pressure characterized by a single hydraulic circuit with unlimited applications in mechanical. It can be exploited to feed devices of different power and nature, agricultural machinery, construction equipment, earth moving machinery, hoisting machines, and many others. Its simple scheme and the continuous cooling of the hydraulic fluid allow to significantly reduce the operating costs by reducing the waste to a minimum, maintaining a constant and high efficiency. The hydraulic pressure multiplied obtained through this invention has in fact proved to be able to reach an increase of 400%, remaining constant and with no overhangs with an extreme ease of adjustment. Here is how the circuit develops. Starting from the tank, the oil is sucked and placed in the hydraulic conduit. Thanks to the pump A, connected to a pressure generator motor that can be of different nature, for example, electric, with an internal combustion engine, wind powered or other. In this side of the circuit, the pump maintains a constant pressure, in this case, to 100 bars, pushing the fluid up to the pressure multiplier. The pressure booster is a single block composed of three cylinders and three coaxial pistons. The three pistons are connected by a single stem and form six chambers. The main cylinder, alpha, is divided into two chambers, C1 and C2, by the hydraulic piston, P1. Both C1 and C2 chambers have a V1 and V2 distal opening to let the oil enter and exit. The two side cylinders, delta and gamma, divided by the respective hydraulic pistons, P2 and P3, into two chambers, one distal to alpha, C3 and C6, the other proximal to alpha, C5 and C4. Both C3 and C6 chambers are equipped with two one-way valves, V3, V4, and V5, V6, which serve to take and discharge the fluid. The increase of the hydraulic pressure is given by the different alpha bore, double in this case, compared to delta and gamma. By the circuit tripping, all the pistons move in the same direction along the x-axis. The fluid at a constant pressure of 100 bars enters in C2 through V2, generating the pressure multiplication in C3 that instantly reaches 400 bars, pushing the pressurized fluid through the one-way valve V3 to the end user. At the same time, in the opposite chamber, C6, the low pressure refrigerated oil is sucked through the one-way valve, V5. The fluid contained in C1 is sent to the cooling unit. Once it has completed its stroke, P1, and consequently also P2 and P3, reverses its direction. At the head of the whole operation system, there is a single hydraulic four-way distributor, PTAB respectively, located upstream alpha and connected to C1 and C2. This component manages the main liquid's low pressure that constantly flows into P alternating in A and B. This exchange of the flows directs the P1's push. Alternatively, A and B will receive the return flow that will be deflected in T, that is, towards the heat exchanger that has the purpose of cooling the fluid before being aspirated by the cylinders C3 and C6 through the respective one-way valves V4 and V5. The extra oil will be sent back to the tank. One of the fundamental characteristics of this circuit is the maintenance of a constant and multiplied pressure of the fluid for the final hydraulic user, even though it is generated for one of the alternating fluid pressure. This is possible since both outputs of the two high-pressure driven cylinders, although alternate, converge in one hydraulic line in which the pressure becomes continuous and so reaches the final hydraulic user. Once the final high pressure is exploited by the user, the fluid, now at low pressure, will be directed towards the heat exchanger in order to have an available cooling fluid before its use. To outright activate and stop the circuit, a directional lever valve was placed downstream from pump A. In this way, 
With a simple gesture, the pressurized flow can be directly diverted into the oil tank, stopping the pressure multiplier immediately. The real advantage of this invention is in its simplicity and compactness of its structure. It requires just a group of an initial motor pump and only one hydraulic flow under pressure directional distributor to govern the process. Furthermore, being a hybrid circuit, a good part of the hydraulic fluid used is the one put back in the main tank by the cooling device. The hydraulic fluid consumption is therefore significantly reduced, as well as the wear of the circuit and, hence, its maintenance. This new pressure multiplier can be applied in different sectors. Agriculture, construction, industrial, transportation, optimizing the resources, enhancing the performances, and significantly limiting the loss of precious energy. The strengths are High performances yield up to 400%. Energy savings. Lower oil consumption. Reduced number of components. Less maintenance. Less wear. Compact. Ruled by one directional valve. Coax cylindrical monoblock. Single cooled circuit. Just one tank. Hybrid open closed circuit.